pretty sure it looks about right, I, I, I think. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? <sighs> we'll be famous for this one. Well, it's about damn time. We've been planning this too long. Guess there's nothing left to do but the lot. Whoa! Hey, why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? All right. Guess I'll just listen for the explosion. Hey, we say it's Graham. Good move. Spend it in your honor, boys. Leave me the hell alone. Yep. Some of these fools want us to get caught. Can't disagree. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. Bone shorts? Easy there. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Let me vote. Let me no, vote. Bonjour. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Ma'am? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> B 
Bonjour. You're walking away from history, you fools. Oh, Women and men both I'm deserve to decide the future. Shit. This is meant to be the land of liberty, but somehow I am Monsieur? not free to oh, Who's this guy? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. All right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. You okay, boy? Yeah. There we go.
Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Come away peacefully and you can live, Mr. Wall. Ah! We need a man on the cranker! Get him! Ah! You ah! Get to your places! We're seeing some fighting today! We lost the cranker! Keep pushing, boys! Boy, you ain't gonna live this through! is to take you in. Damn you to hell! Ow! Get off me! Oh, lackey! Damn you! Bastard! Oh, ow. Ow. Shit time. <laughs> now get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. He really up to you, partner. Hey, boy.
Come on now, boy. Yeah, there, boy. called United States. Now, this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over me. I'm a citizen of the free state of Lemoyne and am subject to state law alone. Understand that, you dumb bastard? a man's freedom? Awful, awful. It's greedy, grasping, carpet bagger bullcrap, and we're drowning in it. We're up to our ears, our ears, sir. There's no room for freedom. No, sir, there ain't. No room where there's money to be made. It's deplorable. The Lemoyne Raiders ain't done yet. We are bloody, but unbowed. We will never surrender. Hey, Wap. Don't like talking to you folk normally, but you're a Lemoyne Raider, right? So I thought I'd say, I'm bunking at your old place at the moment. Shady Bell? You the fellers of Shady Bell? You murdering animals! You savage Yankee bastards! You'll get your comeuppance, all right! You know, I ain't sure that we will. What the hell's got your dander up? Hey there. The night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. I heard that Roy got caught. Yeah, this is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitors. Come on. I'm beginning to wonder if this bastard would ever get caught. Federalist pigs. Got a live one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt a bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. I make good on my promises. Here's your payment. I'm worth every penny. Get out of here, you traitor!
Heard they found what? They hanged themselves Hello there. The end. Okay then. Oh, easy. Just give me a minute, boy. Okay, fella. Identify yourself. Arthur. Mr. Morgan, to what do we owe the pleasure?
I knew if I stayed, everyone I loved would die. I ran, not for my life, but for theirs. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. You know, my father had the welts all down his back. You're a good friend, Mr. Morgan. He taught all the kids how to read. A good old-fashioned house nigga, they called him. But he was beaten just the same. Now, it wasn't uh, the, the master of the house who my father loved, in a way. It makes you feel a bit more like home. Who my father hated with an almighty passion. He, he, he beat the slaves almost nightly. He'd whip them. Rape them. One night, my father was getting oh. open for the hey. crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so. Time. Arthur! Okay, Arthur, get, get over here! A year later? What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who's cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you... 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turnoff. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean... <laughs> That it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with them. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, oh, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> And my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. 
That's how I'm going to see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. We're going to cut up this way. Hey there, fella. All right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer... I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Turn around. Shit. And put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? Nothing. You know, we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now, just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One, two, let's go. Mm -hmm. Three, four. Easy. Yeah. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it. I'll move it up. Let's go. One of them run off. Whoa. I'll go fetch the runner. Up, up. I'll stick with the herd till you catch up. Let's go.
One's got away from us. Yeah, yeah. Slow down, girls. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Hmm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> it's menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Let's go, boy. Yep. Will you quit with that damn Mexican garbage? Be clear, we got a dangerous foreigner here!
Anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. 
Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> it's the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, what? Well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. Huh? Uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hands. The filament flashes when it points at the locations for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament glows solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rods, and we harness
I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> what now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Am I missing something? Ah! Uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Damn it! What I got myself into. Lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. 
I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>